Hello walkers and welcome to the fabulous city of Nice here on the French Riviera uh, in France because that's the best place to find a French Riviera. Uh, this place is stunning and I think you're going to see that through this walk. Uh, we'll give a little bit of history, a little bit of background, stay with us all the way to the end. Hello fellow bipedal hominids. Another walk. Very pleased to say we're here in Nice on the French Riviera. Boy, we get around, don't we? Stay with us. Nice so far has exceeded all our expectations, so we really want to show you uh, what's here. We're going to show you around the back streets too because they're absolutely adorable. And so stay with us, it's a bright sunny day. I'm just pointing out the street here and the square. It's going to be Avenue Jean Médecin. So you might arrive from that direction. Uh, if you follow that road straight up, it leads up to Nice Ville uh, Station. And also, if you want to do a bit of shopping, that's the place to go. It's a very long street, can't get lost. And while we're here, oh, hang on. See those figures up on the platforms? So there's seven, all in all, around this square. No, it's not a form of torture. It's an art piece. So the art piece is called uh, Conversation in Nice and the figures are representing well there's supposed to be seven Buddhas and are representing the seven continents for well, the time seven continents and this here by the way so this is the Promenade du Crayon so there used to be a river here at the minute by the same name and its job really was to separate both old Nice and new. Now after many floods, uh, many kind of uh, accidents, eventually got filled in and covered. But you can walk that way and that will take you straight up to the Museum of Modern Art, which is uh, great. And also there's uh, Place Garibaldi, big square, lovely place to sit, watch the trams go past. But we're heading this way. So you see the sea? Very close, aren't we? Going to head towards that. Now, let's wait for the noise to die down. Well, what is this? This is the Fountain of the Sun. Ten du Soleil. And if you know your mythology, you know that the Greek god Apollo is the god of the sun. And mythology, he carries the sun across the sky in a chariot, and the chariot is drawn by four horses. So I think the designer, the architect, the sculpture here wants to save on stonework and uh, if you can look up at his head rather than building all four horses uh, he just put them on his crown instead it's a bit of a cheapskate isn't it really um, so that's led to a little bit of ridicule and the French like a little bit of ridicule um, from the veiling people said well actually Looks a little bit like an advert. There was an advert on at the time, the Renault uh, 4CV. And the motto of that was uh, four horsepower. And so everyone used to call this statue, instead of Apollo, simply four horsepower. Also, the local ladies disapproved. Uh, they said that his, um, shall we say, his lower dimensions were a little bit large and unseemly. Now, the, uh, the sculpture, or sculptor, 
uh, decided to, okay, take a little trim to aforementioned bits of its anatomy. Didn't go far enough, so they say. And so, um, ended up being uh, dismantled. So 1970 something, in the 70s, the statue was moved. And it then spent 30 years uh, down by a sports stadium. Uh, someone spotted it and said, oh, hang on a minute. Didn't that used to be here in the square? And so 2011, it got reinstated, uh, put in its rightful place here with apparently an appropriately sized member. I thought you might want to hear that. I think you're that sort of viewership. So, a little bit about the city itself. So Nice uh, is built on the Bay of Angels. And really over the years it has come to signify elegance and culture. It's got a nickname, which is Nice La Belle, which obviously means Nice the Beautiful. Speaking of which, ice creams are looking quite nice. Anyway, control yourself. Let's head this way. So the promenade is that way. Uh, we're not going that way yet. We'll get there in the end. Stay with us to the end. We will walk along the seafront. We will climb the tower at the other end. The famous tower on the hill. So stay with us. Now don't cheat. Don't scrub forward. You only miss the good bits. Because the great bits here are all the back streets, which are fantastic. All the little cafes, all the French ambience. So something else we know then. So I talked about the Bay of Angels here. So we're just a few miles away from uh, Villefranche, or should I say Villefranche sur Mer on sea, because there's another Villefranche. Uh, Villefranche has a very deep harbour, one of the deepest in the Mediterranean. And in fact, there's a, there's a trench about a mile out to sea, somewhere in between here and Villefranche, which is, uh, I think it's about 500 metres deep. It's pretty deep. In fact, the American Sixth Fleet, I think, tend to come here and park themselves off. Big ships need big depths to park their bottoms in. I know that feeling. Oh, I think this is the Opera House here. Yeah, so there's originally an Opera House here. It was a wooden one, way back in 1776. Uh, this one, not so old, 1881. Still pretty good though, isn't it? some lovely smells hmm very toasty sort of smells and they're not coming from me because my knees might be rubbing together a bit today uh, and that might generate a few fric friction burns uh, but that's nothing for you to worry about So, what else about Nice? So, it's UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was granted that because of its history, really, as a luxury resort for, you know, fancy Europeans coming here to winter. And because of that, the mix of aristocrats of, uh, well, there's a cultural mix here. So that's why, why it's granted uh, UNESCO 
what's the word? Certification? Label? You know what I mean. Let's go down here. It probably sounds like I'm making this route up, of course I'm not. We've got a lot of time and effort into making sure these walks are good for you. I like to think we're quite efficient. What else about Nice? How old is it? Well, I think it was originally settled by the Greeks. That was 350 BC. Quite a while ago. And where does it take its name from? So the Greeks had a name. It was called uh, Nikaya. And for all you uh, trainer fans out there, its name derives from Nike. That's right, the goddess of victory. Indeed, some of you might be wearing Nike trainers or Nike apparel right now. Well, the Palais de Justice over here. But then. Uh I'm, I'm just showing you this. We've got these three famous words, really, haven't we? Liberté, égalité, fraternity. And here, Palais Ruska. And here we've got the clock tower too. So this square it's very busy at night. It's a good place to come. Oh, actually, let's look down there. It's a particularly nice view. So Palais de Rusko used to be a barracks. The clock tower, well, its official name is Tour de l'Horloge. Or Horloge. Tour de l'Or. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. My language skills fail me at the moment. Sun seems to have gone in briefly. Let's hope it comes out later because it's uh, this is fantastic when the sun hits it. We're going to go nice and slow. talk all the way through this because some of it is really I just want you to see some of the beautiful old streets I've got to have another go at saying that the clock tower tour there L'horloge. L'horloge? Well, I'm sticking with that. That's my best shot today. So yesterday, it was Italian. Today, we're in France. It's French. What was Spanish? What trying to learn Portuguese from Madeira? My poor little brain. So we're going all fried out. So all these buildings here, you notice on all the squares, the long slatted shutters, long windows, lots of light. Particularly nice to see if you're from the UK, from the UK. So many of our new apartment buildings have very small windows. 
not a style choice, it uh, tends to be because it's very cheap. I'm going to give you a little glimpse of this street. We will be returning to the street from a different direction in a moment. But the plan is to go up here. So this is all from memory, by the way. Isn't that amazing? I'd like to congratulate myself because uh, no one else does. That sounds quite sad, doesn't it, really? No. I'm probably a little bit like a waiter. They say that waiters, they'll remember your order, but as soon as they take another order, yours is gone, forgotten. They'll never remember it again. I say for me, I'll remember a walk, we go out and do it, and then it's gone. Next one. I want to make sure we go nice and slowly today. I want to be able to pause and just have a poke of the camera down some of the side streets. So here we are. I think this is uh, Place Rossetti, I seem to remember. Oh yeah, it does say Plus Rossetti. Give you a little look here at the church. Continue the walk, which is going up that way. I did spot earlier just this little street here. And we're just going to pop down here because it was uh, quite attractive. So it was down here about 15 minutes ago, so I'm hoping in that time. Oh, yes, it's all right. But my brain hasn't become addled. Yeah. This is to me nice. I do hope you're soaking this up. I am. Those stairs in front of us lead back onto the street that we first started. You might see some of the trams go past. I'm going to briefly show you a little side street here, Merchant Street. And then we're going to head back this way. All that little shop there. And a few of those around. Seen some in uh, Barcelona, some Rome, and uh, I think the idea is that you can have your iris scanned. That's right. That's uh, that's a coloured bit of your eye. I know you know that, and you can get it blown up. You can have it on the wall. They look quite nice. I don't think I want to see mine because I know I've got a tinge of. Uh... So this is something you might not know. If you have a look in the mirror, have you got a little slight white line around your iris? If you have, uh, check out your cholesterol. Probably means your cholesterol levels are a little bit high. For myself, I'm not worried uh, because I'm eating low carb. I'm expecting my cholesterol levels to be quite high 
and it's not the uh, bad sort of cholesterol. Most of the cholesterol in your body, by the way, is uh, stuff that you make, not that you ingest. So high cholesterol levels really indicate a more internal problem. Perhaps again, you're having too much sugar. Anyway, this is rapidly turning into uh, Dr. Mike, which uh, is not my intention. Big smiling face. It's probably hard to keep that up, stuck there on the wall all day, but it does a good job. Beautiful, beautiful Europe. All right, Europe's had its problems. <laughs> a lot of history, it's just been a theater of warfare, but also just culture, a blend of languages, ideas coming together. And it's just so wonderful coming back to Europe. These children here are European. How oh, lucky. The thing about walking around here is, you look up ahead, you look at the steps up ahead, got a real urge to follow them, but then I'll go off the pre-planned walk. Wouldn't want to do that, would we? Well, sometimes we do, actually. But, I've got an idea. I've got some streets. Planned. I think I should get out the road now for an ambulance. There we are. Rue Droit. So we can continue this walk. We can end up pretty much at Place Garibaldi. Uh, we're not going to go that far. I'm not far off though. Again, I just want to show you the streets. Now look at all the ironwork and the walls and balconies. Oh, there's a balcony theme to this channel, isn't there? I think just because it happens to be that they're around. They happen to be around where we're walking. Honestly, there's no, no strange perversion on our part. Oh, if you could look left and right, but you can't, because you'll start looking forward. Never mind, we will cover those roads. Do you want me to point out some shops? Are you shop people? I'm hoping that little river going down the road there is just uh, water. I'm sure it is. Tight faces. <sighs> Everyone was over the moon earlier. It was swooning. Tight faces. Slow it down a bit, shall we? Seen uh, Le Rose beef on the menu anywhere? 
Oh, there's some beef there. Beef. Cut the beef. Uh, le roast beef. Uh, I do believe that's uh, some sort of the French refer to the English. I never knew why for ages, and I think it's because when we lie in the sun and we just get burnt on the first day, because in the UK, well, people used to believe we didn't see much sun. Uh, we do in the south, not so much in the north. Uh, yeah, we used to get burnt, and we looked like a slab of a roast beef. Quite nice, isn't it? There's a theatre just behind this. In fact, the entrance might be here. Oh, there's the entrance there, yeah. You can get your tickets there. It's a lovely building. Actually, a bit more of the square. So we're just gonna head up this way a bit more because as we walk down, it's a gorgeous little alley. And then we're gonna take a different route back. And of course we will end up on the seafront promenade des Anglais des Anglais uh, it's a promenade of the English I know they weren't taking the mickey um, clearly a reference to the tourists that used to come here lots of English uh, aristocrats so Queen Victoria used to come down here She'd have a toot along the seafront, she'd have a knotted hanky on her head. Little Union Jack tank top. A tinny in either hand. Yeah, she enjoyed herself here. Try this place out. A little tea shop. There's coffees. Coffee here is great. Uh, smaller than you'll be used to. We used to big coffees in the UK and especially in America. Well, they're sort of bathtubs, aren't they, in America? But here, they're small, but nice and strong. We like a strong coffee. in this little square. Brilliant thing about France, you get squares like this all over the place. Now, you follow that road up and just turn right at the top you will come to Place Garibaldi. Oh, let's be nosy and peek into people's windows, see what they're up to. Okay, not very much. I'm glad to say, otherwise I'd have to cut that bit out.
Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, remember, loads more coming. Some absolutely stonking, stonking places. So, hope to see you on those. All right, take care. Happy travels.